Good morning, my friends. It is Tuesday of the 12th week of Ordinary Time, and we want to look at the narrow gate, this call to holiness in each of our lives. Some of you may have seen this before, but here I've got a beautiful chalice and I've got a Coca-Cola Zero. Nothing against Coca-Cola, but if I were to pour, and it's, it's not open, but if I were to pour this into the chalice, what would you do? You'd say, Father, you can't do that. And I'd say, why? And most people would say, because that chalice is set apart for something holy, for the blood of Christ. And, and I'd say, exactly. And so are you. <laughs> you know, this is a, a precious piece of metal. It is consecrated. It's used for mass and the blood of Christ. Coca-Cola. I have nothing against Coca-Cola again, but this represents the things that aren't holy, the things that we pour into our body, the things that we ingest, the things that we watch, we read, we listen to, we participate in that are not of God. So keep that image in mind because holiness means to be set apart. And, uh, you know, I like to use the image of this fast flowing river going one way, that's our culture. And uh, it's usually not heading in the right direction. And holiness means to, to get out of that river or maybe even sometimes swim uh, up, you know, against the current, to be set apart, to not do what everybody else is doing. And so Jesus says to the disciples, do not give what is holy to dogs. In other words, don't give what is like Coca-Cola to a chalice or throw your pearls before swine. We would never put a soft drink into uh, a chalice that's set aside. How much more are we set aside for the things that are holy? Um, then he goes on to say, do to others whatever you would have them do, the golden rule. A great uh, thing to keep in mind. How would I want to be treated in this situation? How would I want people to speak to me? Then do that to others. It takes situational awareness. It takes... Um, you know, living in the moment in order to do that. And then Jesus goes on to say, enter through the narrow gate. This is going to sound daunting. For the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. So many people go through the gate that leads to destruction. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. So this speaks against kind of the, uh, the thought of universal salvation, which is becoming prominent today that, well, everybody's going to heaven. It doesn't matter. Jesus is saying that there are two different gates, one that leads to salvation, that's narrow, and the other one that leads to destruction, which is wide. I remember, you know, uh, watching... Uh, documentaries. I love watching documentaries on people who have achieved greatness in different things like Michael Jordan in basketball or Tom Brady in football or, uh, you know, it could be in, in music and in, in art, the best. They invested time. What I'm not saying is that we have to do things to earn salvation. That is uh, um, a heresy called Pelagianism that I, I can work my way to heaven. Um, God has given us all that we need, especially his son, Jesus. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Salvation begins with faith, with a belief in Jesus, and then it comes out through, through loving actions. And so God has given us everything. Uh, he's given us his son, and in order to grow closer to the son, we have the sacraments, we have the scripture. Um, he teaches us how to pray, and the more that we fill ourselves up, not with Coca-Cola, but with his grace, um, we have everything that we need to enter through that, that narrow gate. He starts to help us to see things as he sees them, to see things clearly and not as the world sees it. So my friends, as we move on today, let us think about how precious we are and what are the things that I need to let go of in my life. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating us in your image and likeness. We thank you for um, 
all that we have that is good. Help us to be aware of the things that we ingest through our senses that are not holy, that don't lead us closer to you. Give us the grace to say no to those things and to say yes to you. Help us to be holy. Help us to become the best version of ourselves. We desire to be saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow.